Hey, hey, what's up, guys? This is Bakar. Um, this is what this is what I'm gonna tell you what not to do on a, with cryptocurrency. So I know everybody's uh, looking around and shopping around for deals for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So this is one thing you do not buy on a Black Friday special, and you do not purchase it anywhere besides the original uh, manufacturer and from their website. Um, this device I bought from an affiliate website. I uh, we got, you know, um, it was a spur of the moment type deal. I saw an ad came across me and I went and picked it up, right? Um, these usually go for like $79.99 or $69.99, something like that. And I saw it on sale for $39.99 plus shipping and handling. It came out to like 44 bucks. No brainer, went out, bought it. As soon as I received it, um, and the funny thing is that Amazon is the one who is shipping these out. So, you know, um, I went online, everything looked good. It had some bad reviews, but I was just like, hey, whatever, you know, for, for, for security reasons, why not? You know, as long as it, as I'm, you know, I'm pretty technical. I could, I could get my, I could work my way around it. Most of it was like, oh, the entering, the bad reviews were basically, you know, entering the, um, Entering the what you would call it, the seeds was hard and this and that and basically you were only allowed to hold three currencies and that was the drawbacks of this. But I was just like, all right, fine, I don't need to hold more than three currencies, anyways. So, um, anyways, went out. Long story short, bought it and received it. Amazon package right here. Boom, boom. You know, opened it up. And then I started inspecting it. You know, I come from the you know, cell phone industry. And I know, I feel like I know when things are off about this. So I'm just going to unveil it in front of you guys, you know. So the first thing I felt like as soon as I opened it, there was like a little bulge. You know, like it was packaged um, improperly. Again, repackaged improperly. Like maybe the cable, maybe like the book was out of the way. And I don't know if you can see it. It doesn't look like a bulge, but I feel a bulge. Could be the device. Like again, I'm this is I'm not sure um if um what you call it, if this is a genuine product or not, if this has been compromised or not, I'm not really sure. But the thing is that I'm definitely not going to test it out. Um but I definitely want to see it and open it up. Or maybe I should try it out. I don't know. Let's see what happens. This is me opening a package right now. Oh, yeah, see, uh, another thing I wanted to make notice is, like, you see, um, usually when they do the shrink wrapping, it's supposed to be, you know, machine wrapped. So everything, a machine, when it wraps it, it's everything is supposed to be crisp and clean, you know, because it's a machine. It shouldn't be lopsided like this. But can, in, in a... In a work line, can these things happen? I'm sure it can, but you know, I'm not really sure. That's another. That was a, okay. So basically, there were many red flags, and another red flag would be like I feel like, um, you know, I don't know if you could see it, but the 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 writing is not as crisp as I want I, as I'm used to. I guess I don't know. Maybe it's, I'm over analyzing. I'm not really sure. But, you know, anyways, here it goes, nothing. Okay. Yeah, it definitely feels like a, a bulge right here. All right, so I'm just going to hold it right there. And this is the moment where I've been waiting for. Okay, that was the bulge. see that okay and the 
just put fingerprints on it, but I'm not really sure. That was the bulge. This was the bulge right here. Yeah, see? This cable looks weird. Dude, I'm finding specks like dirt and dust. I don't know. This thing is raising too many red flags for me, I should say. I don't know. Um, I feel like too many red flags. And the way cryptocurrency is going right now, I don't think you know what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna connect this to my computer but I definitely do want to connect it so what I'm going to do is see if I could Anyways, I'm not going to mess around with this. Um, I'm definitely returning this. I do not trust it uh, for me, even though um, even though it came from Amazon or whatever. Um, I don't feel comfortable uh, inserting this into my computer, let alone storing any kind of cryptocurrency on this device. Because... In this space, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. So, we want to literally double double test, double make sure of everything before making a single step especially in the cryptocurrency space so yeah um returning this thank you but no thanks um i'm gonna drop this off today and uh get it out of the way i'm just gonna order one um in my opinion you don't really need i mean yes you definitely need a hardware wallet i shouldn't say that but if you are if you want to keep your wallet's off if your cryptocurrency off the exchange i definitely advise you just to get a lot you know like a old phone like this you know which has no internet connection see which has no internet connection i have my wallet on here you know i don't i don't keep no wi-fi nothing correct for all my and basically i have a wallet which is accessible to me and um it's on there 
right? And then basically it's the same functionality of this. And God forbid I ever lose this, I've had the seeds backed up somewhere and I could always access it. That's just, uh, so do you really need one? Yeah, you probably do. You always need one of these or one of these. It's just that how you want to go about doing it. I just figured, you know, cause it was a sale and I might as well just get it. But, you know, that's a wrap, or I should say an unwrap.